All right, it's time to sit down and talk about one of my most anticipated films of 2015. Fuck, what year is it now? Tonight's very belated review is on Avengers Age of Ultron, and in this film, Tony Stark has created an AI called Ultron, which is meant to bring peace to the world, but Ultron soon comes to the conclusion that in order for this to be possible, the human race needs to go extinct, and so of course the Avengers need to stop him from fulfilling this mission. Just like the first movie, this film still has some really awesome action scenes in it, um, it very much has the same thing going for it in that respect too, where they can go on and on and on, and yet it never becomes monotonous or boring, it's always entertaining. One of my favorite action scenes in this film was the scene with the Hulkbuster, just because I believe this was the first time in a film where I saw the Hulk in his purest form, where Bruce Banner was just completely gone, and all you saw was that raw and uncontrollable monster that he'd spent years trying to repress. Also, they still carry the sense of humor from the first movie into this. It still has the same almost campy vibe going for it. Um, I was going in expecting this to be much darker than the first film, and there were some ways where it had stronger emotional content, but... At the same time, I was laughing a lot more often than I expected. In fact, they even managed to give Ultron some good jokes in this movie. I mean, when I saw the first trailers for this, I was just expecting him to be this very cold and ruthless, scary movie villain. And in some respects, there are a few scenes where he does things that are pretty scary, but at the same time, um, his AI gives him a very genuine personality and there are some moments where he comes off as just a straight up goofball. One character I could see some people having a problem with in this movie is that of Quicksilver. Um, just because they did him so well in X-Men Days of Future Past just the previous year, but at the same time this is a different movie universe so you can expect them to do some different things with the character and uh, even though he's not quite the show stealer that he was in Days of Future Past, he is still pretty cool in this movie. Now, one thing that Age of Ultron does much better than the first movie, in my opinion, is that it adds more depth to the characters. Um, some of my favorite scenes in this film, uh, aside from the great action and the great humorous moments, are just when the Avengers are simply interacting with each other and just being themselves, and it never even gets boring in those scenes because they are such interesting characters. I remember when the reviews for the first Avengers were coming out, people were highly praising it for the fact that they made the side characters of Black Widow and Hawkeye relevant to the story, and um, in the case of Black Widow, I do agree, she was very interesting in that movie, and it made me want to see her star in her own individual film. I really hope that happens someday. But in the case of Hawkeye, I was just like, what the fuck are these people talking about? He was a zombie most of the time. But one thing that I really appreciated in this film was that they actually do explore his character a lot more here. And I know that sounds like I'm just fanboying over this film left and right at this point, but... I will very much admit that it's not a perfect film. Um, one of the most common complaints about it is that the story does feel incomplete in some areas, which is something I didn't really notice the first time watching it, but then once I started rewatching it with Joss Whedon's commentary, I started picking up on a few points where they could have expanded things and even explained things a little bit more. There were a couple of parts where it came off as a bit sloppy, and um, even if they were just 
cutting out certain moments for time, it doesn't make sense because it's an Avengers movie. People who are going to see this film aren't very likely to be bored by it. One very minor nitpick for me with this film is that there are a couple of moments here and there where things happen in this film and they're the same exact things that happened in the first movie. Um, I don't mind it hitting some of the same story beats like the big long action sequence at the end, but at the same time I felt like it would have been much more enjoyable if they had made it more different from the first movie. I mean, the second Captain America film was completely different from the first and people ended up liking it a lot more, including myself. However, my biggest complaint with the film is that they ended up forcing in this kind of romance between Black Widow and Bruce Banner. And I will admit that there was one scene between these two that I enjoyed. I mentioned how I liked the fact that the Avengers were interacting a lot more with each other. And there is a really good scene between these two where you get to know them a little more. But outside of that, for the most part, it just felt very trite and unnecessary. I mean, just because you've got a female character in this movie does not mean she needs to be romantically involved with one of the male leads. In the end, I have to say that I agree with the general public that this film's flaws do prevent it from being as good as the first Avengers, but at the same time, there are so many things that they do right that, in my book, it's still pretty damn close. Um, so if you are a, a Marvel movie fan and you somehow haven't seen this movie yet, you're taking even longer than me, then I would suggest checking it out. Anyway, that's all I've got to say about Avengers Age of Ultron. I hope y'all have a good one.